G'day guys, welcome to Rum's Fish Room. So today, I'm going to work on the waterfall tanks. So, <clears throat> first up, I've got to get it off the ground because one, I was going to just put the styrofoam on the ground but one thing I didn't think of is the fact that we need to put a drain in the bottom because you know me, automatic water changes for life, baby. Um, so, one frustrating thing, I got to Bunnings, I got to out of work too late, I couldn't get to Reese, so I, I went to Bunnings and they were completely sold out of bulkheads and not even in one size, every size sold out so I couldn't get any size bulkhead because I could have used any size, I've got all the drill bits to drill it bigger <clears throat> so I'm going to MacGyver it, I've got like, um, like one of the water tank um, fittings uh, how's this right? A bulkhead is like seven dollars seventy from Bunnings. This tiny little water bulk, this tiny little um, water tank bulkhead, eleven dollars. So that there cost me seventeen dollars. I was outraged. <clears throat> Not to mention, have you guys been to the Big Green Shed and seen how messed up all the shelves are? If you go to Bunnings and you pick something up and then change your mind out about change your mind about buying it please put it back where you got it from it's out of control I found like half of a 25 mil bulk head and I was excited I was like I just got to find the other half I spent like 15 minutes looking like behind all the back of the shelves and everything for the other half I couldn't find it but anyway that's my rant about the general public for today um, they are a frustrating bunch um, I guess Part of me wants to blame the workers, but you can't blame the workers for messing it up because they didn't do it. It's just they're probably a bit understaffed to stock the shelves back the way they're meant to be. Plus, those retic fitting sections, imagine trying to sort that back into the right order. It would take hours on end. Um, so, that's enough jibber jabber. Let's get this tank lifted off the ground. All right, guys, let's get you in a better position. All right, here we go. Um, so I've got some timber blocks to put under it. I didn't want to put a frame under it. I just wanted to put blocks and I didn't want to put like 90 by 45 because I'd wor worry about it falling over. So this stuff is about, I don't know how thick that is. It looks about 60 mil. It's bigger than 50, smaller than 100. Um, anyway, it's square, so like, if you lean on the tank, this can't tip over, is what I'm getting at. Um, now you guys get to watch me struggle trying to get this under. Oh, you know what else is a big negative? The wood, I oiled it, I used decking oil on it, so that way if it gets wet, it doesn't rot. Um, now I've got oil on my fingers and I'm trying to lift this tank. Somewhere was touching the wall then and that will actually scratch the paint off. Alright, wish me luck there. Alright, I should have brought the wood with me. So there's one thing I hope you guys get, like, gain from me, like, doing these videos of me moving, like, heavy tanks and stuff like that. Is sometimes... Doing it by yourself isn't as hard as you think.
But I always say it's not easy either. It is heavy, but I'm just being smart about it. I'm not, I'm trying not to stretch my back and all that. And, uh, I put that block up the wrong way. Damn it. All right guys, so I flipped that block over because it was the wrong way. It's almost the same size. There's only like three millimeters difference each way. So um, it's the right way now. Um, next, we're gonna throw a spirit level on it. I wanna get this fairly level because the water level, even though I'm not doing an overflow tank, guys. It, sorry to spoil that if you were wanting that, but um, I'm actually just going to have the drain pipes in the back and this water level I'm going to have it right near the top so it looks like rimless. Um, somebody asked me if I'm running lids. I don't plan to um, but we'll s so flower horns I found generally don't jump unless it's like a pair and the male's chasing the girl and the, the female will jump but I'm going to run the gauntlet for now and we're going to put flower horns in there without lids so uh, wish me luck. All right, so you can see we're running out a bit. <laughs> Little trick with the spirit level, when they're old, like this one's pretty old, it's my old work one. If you're worried about it being level, when you put it on something, spin it around and do a 180 and try it the other way and make sure the result comes out the same. Um, unfortunately, this level is too long to sit on the inside glass. When I rock this, it's gonna change the so unfortunately I can't figure out how level they are. I've just got to presume that whoever built this got them dead level from the top. I can throw a tape measure down actually from the straight edge. Anyway, I'm going to level this off camera. You guys don't need to see that. Next clip is going to be me trying to smash that plate off. Yes, I said smash because it's the easiest way to do it. I did it on that eight foot. And if you're an OG, you would have seen the video of me getting covered in glass. Let's do it again. All right, so lucky I threw a tape measure. I threw, I pinned a tape measure down to the corners or the edges of the glass up to it. And there was two mil difference from that side to that side with that top line. So I basically, oh, the camera's not gonna focus for me. I basically leveled it there. At, um, no, I made that level parallel with these three lips. All three of these lips are parallel, which is good. And then I leveled it. I leveled it to that. So basically, I use a chisel and a block and, and lever it and then put the packers under. I don't try and lift the whole thing to get the packers under. Um, I'm using laminate packers, so it doesn't matter if they get wet. And it actually creates an air gap under the timber, which is actually good for the timber. I really should do a bit of packing on the other side and then this one even higher, but I can't be bothered. So you guys have got front row seats. Please don't do this at home. Um, wear glasses if you do. And you always want to hit the corners and try to break the weak, weaker spot first. So um, also, this is the wrong way for me. It's on the left. Can you guys see? What can you guys see? Uh, it's a bit dark, isn't it? Where's the chisel? All right, here it is. See how can you guys see how I chipped the corner first? Wear gloves too, ignore what I'm doing. Just do everything the opposite to me. Except wearing glasses, I am wearing glasses. But 
That's not my choice. Um, so you can get these patches off with fishing line, but I've never had success. I can't get... Oh, it's a tight fit. can't get a good hit on it because of the way around I'm holding the hammer. Trying not to hit the bottom and also the chisel's bouncing. There we go, got another bit. chisel. Oh, sorry again to headphone users. Every time I do this, I have to do a full sharpen on my chisel, grind it all the way back, re-hone it. I bet you if there's cabinet makers or chippies watching this, they'll absolutely be cringing because of what I'm doing with my chisel. And also, this isn't my junk chisel. This is my what I class as my sharp chisel. My good chisel. I don't really have a junk one at the moment. On the bright side, the silicon they've used is shit. I'm guessing that, look at that, that's not even stuck. Did you, I don't know if you caught that on the camera, but. Don't worry, I've done the same, whoever put this in. I've glued a patch on with the wrong silicon. With, like, with the mentality, oh, she'll be right. There's so much silicon there, if that makes sense. So now I'm just going to go inside and try to myself about my chisel being completely stuffed. Oh wow, there's actually no dents in it guys. I might only need to hone it, I might not need to grind it. <clears throat> now, I don't know whether to take this chip off. Can you really see it? Sorry, it's so dark guys. I need to get a new light attachment for my new camera. My old light doesn't fit my new camera. <sighs> Should I redo this patch here? Look at it, it's huge and ugly. I could put the smallest little patch on that. I need to patch these ones anyway. Yeah, screw it. I'm gonna knock that one off, off camera, guys. I'll see you in a minute. All right, guys, so I put my finger up inside these fittings and whoever put it on glued it inside and out. So. I thought the only logical thing to do here was to set it on fire to try get it out. The only problem is now I can't grab it. I don't have big enough grips. All right, so after the fire show, I got them both out. Um, I tried to do the next one without fire, but I still needed fire. Um, I'm surprised they were even holding. Can you see just there? See that first thread, how there's no silicon on it? That, that was literally only screwed on by that first thread. If you're ever going to patch the bottom of a tank, guys, please use a plate of glass. 
If you're in Perth, just message me. I'll give you a little square for free. Like, it's a, it's like, it, it's just, it looks ugly. I guess if there's substrate in the bottom of the tanks, you wouldn't have seen it. But I run bare bottom. So I'm trying to make this as nice as possible. I want to try and get this as close to shot or like show condition as I can. Um, looking at the glass, there's no scratches on it, so there's no reason that I can't get this looking near on perfect. All right, guys, it's getting pretty late. I'm gonna wrap this one up there. I was hoping to get the top tank on top tonight, but I gotta get the missus to give me a hand because the even just the top little tank is all 12 mil beveled edge glass. One of the questions on Facebook, is there anything supporting the bottoms of those tanks? Um, no. So, these, these tanks are only 350 mil deep and the base and the front is um, 12 mil glass. So, it doesn't need the support. The, t the glass is way strong enough. If anything, it's probably over-engineered a bit. But, <clears throat> I hope you like it. I'm enjoying making this little series and hopefully I'm smart enough to put it into a playlist for you because I, re I really need to start setting up playlists on YouTube. So many people have messaged me, subscribers on the channel, saying that a good way for channel growth is um, making playlists. So <clears throat> I really need to get on and do that. I'm kind of like trying to talk my missus into do doing like being like my PR consultant, but um, we'll see. We'll see. If you like this video guys give a thumbs up if you want to subscribe for more hit the little red button same color as this shirt and i'll see you guys tomorrow peace out